Today we're taking a quick look at my three favorite lenses for the Sigma FP. But first, if you're new here, my name is Anson and on this channel we talk about filmmaking, specifically budget gear, tutorials, and a behind the scenes look at the projects that I'm working on. So if that's something you're into, consider subscribing. If you missed it last week, we talked about why I would recommend the Sigma FP in 2021. And today we're gonna to talk about my three favorite lenses for the Sigma FP. So let's go ahead and get into it. And the first lens I wanna talk about is the Sigma 45 millimeter f 2.8 this is actually the newest lens i have for the sigma fp which is kind of funny because it's the one that generally comes with the sigma fp but that being said this is the last lens i've gotten for the sigma fp and why i like using this lens is because it makes the sigma fp a super compact system this has turned into my go-to run and gun lens if i'm going out with the family or if i'm going out for the day and i know i don't need a ton of different focal lengths i'll take this lens to keep the system super compact and so that's the first lens on the list is the sigma 45 millimeter f 2.8 next up is the beloved 18 to 35 from sigma the f 1.8 i actually have the t2 version the cine version and that's what i'm using on the black magic right now i like using this lens on the sigma fp yes even though it's a super 35 lens it only covers a super 35 sensor it does pair nicely with the sigma fp and put some good diffusion on it and you can get a beautiful image and so honestly with the sigma fp being a full frame camera i am happy to put it in super 35 mode to use the 18 to 35 from sigma and not to mention the 18 to 35 is the one lens in this list that i can use Use on other cameras like the pocket 6k pocket 4k or even the og pocket camera as well so that's one reason i may gravitate to this lens is if i'm carrying multiple bodies i can swap between the bodies with this one lens and then the last lens on the list is the sigma 24 to 70 f 2.8 and i'll be honest this lens for the longest time was the only lens i had on this camera if anyone asks if they're buying their first lens what lens they should buy generally i would recommend a 24 to 70 or a 24 to 70 equivalent because it is such a versatile focal length but a good 24 to 70 is a great place to start when you're buying your first good zoom lens and the sigma 24 to 70 is just beautiful it produces a really sharp image and with the f 2.8 you do get a lot of good subject isolation as well as decent low light performance. This is the lens that if you're asking me one lens to buy for the Sigma FP, I actually would recommend this lens because it is so versatile, because you can do a lot with it. I would absolutely recommend the 24 to 70 from Sigma to be potentially the only lens you buy for this camera. Now, if you're like me, you can't settle for one lens and that's why we have the top three lenses for the Sigma FP. And so that's it for me. I hope it was helpful for you guys to see my Sigma FP lens lineup, what I'm using, why I'm using it. If you do have questions about any of these lenses, let me know in the comments below. As always, thank you guys for joining. Go and find your journey. Go embrace life. Stay safe. Be happy. Support each other. Wash those hands and I'll see you here next time. Peace. Or if you're trying to buy the Sigma FP. Are you kidding me? Can you go ignore that on my phone? Okay. That was fun.